Hello, welcome to Precision Bodge. Today uh, we're going to be upgrading the ignition system on my RX-7. Um, factory ignition system is pretty good, um, but it's old and when stuff starts wearing and failing, um, you're going to run into problems and parts are quite expensive. And uh, there's just a lot better stuff out there now. Um, it uses wasted spark configuration for leading coil, uh, for leading spark plugs, and uh, coil pair plug for the trailing. Uh, it also uses an external igniter, which w is pretty common with older cars, and um, still sometimes is used, but it's pretty rare now. And um, it just adds more complexity and more stuff to fail, and just more wiring. So it's still here. I haven't removed it, but um, I'll be. Just upgrading it. As a very temporary thing I decided to use Yaris coils. I knew they weren't actually that good because uh, they're pretty good. They're good for roughly 100, 150 horsepower per cylinder in piston engines but they do lack spark and um, I just had them in my Daihatsu engine. I thought I'd try them here but I knew this was going to be a temporary thing so I, this is pretty bodge. What I did was I just removed the rubber boot Exposed this spring resistor thing, stuck it on, <laughs> put a whole load of cable ties and tape, uh, and it actually worked. But um, I kept having problems with uh, flooding because obviously these weren't powerful enough. And um, you can see here, uh, it's pretty bodge, especially here. I, I, I think this is why it started flooding really bad because one of my wires had failed. Um, but I knew this was going to be temporary because I was going to upgrade to proper ignition anyway. With broideries, you do need pro really, really good spark because they're so easy to flood, just broidery being broidery. But after you actually upgrade it, you're not going to have any problems. Uh, so I'm going to be using these. These are really good coils. These are IG, IGN1A coils, uh, the best that you can buy. There's different types of manufacturers of them, but they're just they are pretty, pretty much all a Mercury Marine coil, just branded as different names. Um, spark plug wires um, to fit and yeah so um, these are really powerful coils I'd actually link a video um, in the description bit um, of a really good video explaining different coils and what ones are strong and what ones are best to use and uh, but yeah these are the best coils you can buy the just highest uh, power ones however uh, what I'll be doing I'll be using them for leading only uh, as a cost measure thing uh, because these are they're not too expensive but these are 60 pound each and uh, the leading plugs do most work anyway they do 95% of the work and um, if your training plugs aren't that good you'll only lose roughly about 5 horsepower when they're completely disconnected so um, me being me I'm just gonna use the best coils I can for the leading ones and I'm gonna keep my <laughs> Yaris for the trailing. Um, it's kind of uh, shit doing that, but um, to be fair, it worked quite well uh, with just Yaris coils. And uh, these coils will be doing most of the work anyway, so I'm just going to do that. Uh, if it doesn't work, which I doubt it wouldn't, uh, I will change these, but I'm just going to do it like this. So, IG1A coils use. HEI spark plug connectors. Um, this they're actually the same as stock uh, FD wiring for the actual spark plugs, not the coil end. Um, I ordered some on eBay from China because you can't actually get them properly here in England, um, but they haven't come in in time. So what I'll be doing is pretty bodge, but it will work. Um, I'm going to cut these up. So I've already taken one apart and I'm just going to use two of them uh, for the actual coils and uh, uh, these I bought from eBay as well. Um, this is actually for a distributor, uh, so a four cylinder thing because nobody else really uses them anymore and uh, so don't need that, that's for distributor and uh, I'll be using these and cut them down to length and yeah, should work. Right. 
So this is the this is stock igniter assembly thing. Um, it works pretty good, but just don't need it anymore. It's just more complex stuff. I'll be getting rid of more of this wiring later on, but for now I'm just going to move it out the way. Um, with these coils, uh, they have a heat sink here. Uh, you want to keep them in a cool place. So um, I was thinking about them under the internet but it runs quite hot there so I don't think that's a good idea because if these run too hot it reduces their lifespan and they do run really hot because they're the most powerful ignition coils you can buy um, so yeah mounting these is going to be interesting but I'll figure something out um, coils are mounted um, <laughs> proper install as you can see but I'm not going to change that because it just works uh, the wiring's a bit messy and everything but I'll clean it up a bit later on, especially this. Um, just hot wired in. Now I just want to have a comparison of Yaris coils and uh, IG1A coils. Um, I'm not sure if, if this will actually show up anything, but uh, my engine was flooded before with the Yaris coils, so I couldn't have started. When I connected the IG1A coils, um, it started straight away, so they do work. They definitely have a lot more power. I'm not sure this is actually going to test anything or prove anything, but I'm going to spray this shit. Just, um, where we're, where we're, where we're, and uh, see if I can blow up the spot. 